What's up everybody? This is Dallas Stone here and today we're going to be doing something a bit different. Today we're going to be doing um, a Maya tutorial. Uh, it's going to be more of like a basic Maya tutorial series. It's going to be me going through um, building a chess, chess piece set. I remember this being one of my first diamonds back in school. I thought it was a really good um, project slash exercise to kind of start to learn the basics of of Maya. So I'm not going to be going through all the little nitty gritty tools just because there's tons of other videos out there that you can search up that can, does an even better job than I would. So I'm just going to be going through the kind of the process. And uh, if you follow along, you should be able to kind of create very similar um, end result to what I have, right? All right, let's get right, right into it. First thing that I always like to do is I need to you need to set your project correctly. So um, I'm just gonna go to my preferences here, and typically I work in meters, uh, but for this because we're working in such a such a small um, such a small little object, um, I'm just gonna keep it at centimeters. But typically, I've, I've been working in meters, especially if I'm doing like a full on scene. Um, so leave it at that for now which means that each one of these little boxes is going to be one centimeter right so chess piece set i don't know the exact you know measurements of it but they're typically not that big right so i'm going to also throw in so for me i use unreal's man scale that 3d real man scale i usually typically use this guy and see, because this is in, if I go four here, uh, you're gonna see that, like, he's very, very tall, right? Probably like a bunch of, so this is one centimeter. You know, you really start to see, you know, 30 feet, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here he is. A chess piece is gonna fit like right inside his hand here, right? So again, we'll worry about that in a sec. So let's go into the front view, and then we're going to throw in an image plane. And for me, I have created a chess set. A folder already in my Dropbox or wherever it is that you like to use or work on your project. I'm gonna put this into my bookmarks so it's nice and easy for me to reference every single time this opens up. Put a reference and I just searched up a reference that I wanted to to use for the chess piece. So this is kind of the style that I want. This is kind of the design that I want, right? So I'm just gonna do that, and you're gonna see that that is image plane I'm in the front view by the way uh, and to change the front view just press space bar is a quick shortcut and then you can put hover over your cursor onto any of the views and press space bar or yeah press space bar again and it will zoom into that so first thing I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly see roughly if this is going to be a decent size All right so a chess piece you know is probably a little bit this is probably the right size, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. Right? That to me feels like that should be that should be more the typical size for a chess piece. Uh but let's just make it like I think something similar to that size is probably what you're gonna be getting. Now obviously if you know exactly um how big you want this, you know, then do that, right? For me, I'm just kind of playing around here, right? Let's move this all back to zero, zero. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change the pivot point on here at the very bottom. I guess you can't do that. I'm just gonna change that so it's right at the very bottom here. Or even the bottom of the of the chest piece. And then we're just going to move it right up 
to the zero, the zero, zero line. Okay, cool. So now I'm actually just going to delete the man scale just because he's a lot of polys and you don't want the, those polys just kind of being there. I'm just going to freeze my transforms. So I'm just going to go to edit, modify, freeze transforms. For me, I have that hotkey to um, alt, alt Z. Okay, for freeze. There we go. So now we have our image plane here. Uh, we can even, what I like to do with the image plane, I like to add it into, I add it into a layer. So to create a layer, just add, click here, just rename it by double clicking on that, going to image plane. I'm going to save that. I'm going to right click on it to go add selected objects. And then this way I can make it a reference by clicking on this, the third square here the reference so now i can just have it here without clicking it accidentally okay and let's quickly go and save the scene so i'm going to go to chess set i'm going to create a new folder by right clicking into it go new folder go to scene then here just go uh chess or chess set okay there we go so now we have our scene set up and we're ready to Start uh, to start some modeling.